Nicola Sturgeon was the face of the nationalist movement in Scotland, but she leaves without achieving her core ambition, raising questions about what happens next to the SNP and its future. The party's looked pretty impregnable for the past 16 years. In the last general election, winning four out of five Westminster constituencies in Scotland. Yeah, I think it's bound to affect the SNP because it was Alex Sam and then it was Nicola Sturgeon. And at the moment, it doesn't appear to be anybody else that's going to be coming along to take up the reins. It's very sad. Uh, it's a shame she's the only one that's really ever done anything for Scotland, I think. And it just gives the English government mere powers to come up and do what they want, I think. I've been Labour all my life, but through the pandemic, I kind of swayed towards her because she was so sensible, but after the gender thing, yeah, I changed my mind. Nicola Sturgeon's exit comes just a month before the party is supposed to be hosting a special conference to discuss its future strategy on independence and whether the general election will be used as a de facto referendum. But her exit calls into question whether this conference will still happen as the leadership contest is the focal point of what happens next. I think issues like the de facto referendum recedes. I think the SNP can use the opportunity, if you like, of a leadership election to have a contested election, to have all of these issues debated amongst a range of candidates. That would be instead of, I think anyway, the special conference that was proposed for March. There's a feeling among some SNP supporters that a new leader could be a time for a reset after bruising rows like gender recognition reform. Nicola Sturgeon talked about how she felt she'd become a polarising figure. I think to a very large extent that's because she's not particularly a polarising person in terms of her character and in terms of her personality, but she's been immersed in these binary political issues, whether it's independence for Scotland, whether it's Brexit, and I think the way that some of the policy issues like gender recognition have been taken forward on both sides of the debate, it's been done in a very kind of binary way. So. But for unionists, any reset can't bring the country together while the independence debate continues. Well, Nicola Sturgeon has been a big figure in Scottish politics, but she's a big figure that leaves behind a, a legacy of failure. So whoever follows is still going to have to deal with the very poor uh, domestic agenda of the SNP. And it's quite clear already that whoever follows will still be uh, setting out on a path towards the deep division of another independence referendum. That's their obsession. That's why they govern. They don't govern in the interests of the Scottish people. So will a new leader shift the SNP's strategy? Well, that will now rest with tens of thousands of members who will decide if there'll be a change in style and substance in their party as well as in their government.